Welcome everyone, FarmerCop here. We're going to take a look at the presentation from FarmCon24 about machines and gameplay uh, when it comes to uh, Farming Simulator 25. Um, and also Stefan Mars, uh, who was one of the people who helped present. Um, there's going to be a special Q&A at the very end that I'll put in there for you guys uh, for some questions that we asked and then I'll give you guys some clarifying information. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to take a look at some things. I'm going to play some videos for you guys of new gameplay features, and we are going to show off quite a few actually in here, um, that are new features that have just not been announced, um, and new pieces of equipment as well. So we're going to show those off, but I'm going to just play the videos and let you guys just enjoy watching them, and then we'll talk about them briefly at the end. So that's kind of how we're going to do it. But uh, yeah, moving forward, so I apologize. Yeah, we're just reading off a PowerPoint here. Um, and yes, it is in uh, German. I'm probably should have translated before. Uh, but rice, here we have regular rice. Uh, we've learned a little bit about that. Let's watch a little bit of this uh, clip here uh, to kind of take a look at that.
All right, so a few things to kind of note in that video. So first off, the greenhouse is where you grow the rice saplings. Um, you can either buy them in the store or you can grow them in your own greenhouse and then plant them using the transplanter um, as shown in the video. Now the fuel flooding, that was very cool. We actually got to see that um, in action, how you go up to the pump and you can get that set up that way. Um, one thing we do know as well, if you want to add rice fields, uh, the flooded type to your map, you can add them. Um, it's very easy to do. You use a kind of similar to placing fences in Farming Simulator 22. You're able to place the outline of the field you want or the area you want to be a rice field, and then it'll automatically um, deform it to be a rice field for you. So pretty cool. Um, really cool to see some of that stuff in action. But uh, yeah, uh, so moving on, here we are on to the harvest. So I'm going to go ahead and play this video for you guys and bring you guys back in. So nothing crazy with that video that we haven't seen before. We kind of showed that off with the uh, early access to the gameplay before, uh, but still pretty cool to see how the harvesting is done with the uh, Iseki there of the uh, kind of long grain rice, which is pretty cool to see. So um, awesome. All right, moving on from there, long grain rice, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's just continue moving on and taking a look at this. So um, I'm going to play this video for you guys, and then I'll bring you back in after that. We'll talk about it.
Okay, so we can see how we harvest the long grain rice using kind of just basically a regular uh, grain hunter. So pretty straightforward there. Um, I'm assuming the long grain rice is going to be planted with a normal planter or a seeder, um, like a direct drill seeder or whatever the case may be, uh, like you plant like wheat, barley, oats, that sort of stuff. But we're not sure yet, but still pretty cool to see that. Uh, moving on, uh, windrowing. So this is a uh, uh, crop swathing. So swathing as a new feature coming to the game. This is part of the Macdon pack. You can see right there. We have a Macdon header on the Macdon machine there. And then here we're going to take a look at how that works, and we'll talk about it again after we watch the video. All right, and I left it on this screen here because a couple things were kind of really important to um, note there on this uh, here. So uh, first off, we got to see the new Macdon uh, kind of swather in action. There's different brands that will be kind of that same configuration. And now at the very end, uh, well, we actually got to see the swath on the field, which is different than like a straw swath. And then here we have the pickup header, which you use to actually get the grain and stuff off the field, um, which is very awesome. And this is a Macdon header that's on a new Holland, as you can see there. Um, and I decided to kind of leave it there. But yeah, a new feature, a new way to kind of harvest stuff, which is pretty cool to see um, in the game. 
Um, so yeah, pretty cool. Moving on from there. Um, here we go. Consumables is what it says. This is where we're going to talk about the bail wrapping. So I'm very excited about this. I'm going to show you guys this video, then we're going to talk about it again. All right, so a couple really important things to note here. So as you guys probably know, Ronnie Rap is a new brand to the game, which is a big, big deal. And you can see we have on the right-hand side, we have Bail Wrap, 12 rolls are, roll, are loaded into the machine uh, from the pallet there, which um, if you haven't checked out my Ronnie Rap video, it will be coming out. Well, actually, I should say you haven't been able to check it out yet because it hasn't come out yet. But uh, DJ Goham and I went to visit Ronnie Rap, and um, we'll be doing a separate video on that. Uh, hopefully coming next week for you guys. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool. And then they're also round bale nets. So you have that as well. Um, and for Ronnie Wrap, they make four different colors. Dark green, uh, light green, white, and black. So you'll have those four available. And then I believe pink will be available. Maybe it's like a lizard brand. And then you also have to buy the round bale net. You'll be able to load it up um, just so you can keep wrapping your silage bale. So this is kind of a new feature coming to the game, which is really, really cool. Um, so very cool to see a new brand and a new feature there. Uh, moving on. GPS steering. So I'm going to show the video on this. Um, this is a big feature here. Um, so basically you'll turn the GPS on and you'll just be able to drive and it will stay on the route that it's supposed to stay on, just like GPS works in real life. So pretty cool for that. Uh, but let's go ahead and play this video that I'll bring you guys back in at the end.
So this is quite nifty how this works, uh, how you'd be able to use it. Again, we're going to be able to get more details later, and some of the questions about it will be answered at the end of this in kind of an interview fashion. So, um, yeah, it's a really cool feature, and if you don't want to use it, you don't have to use it. That's the beautiful part about having GPS as a new feature in the game. Uh, so there you go. Now, the big thing, which I'm the most excited about, and I think a lot of you guys are as well, is the AI workers. This system has been completely revamped. I'm going to play the video on it in a second, but I'm actually going to talk about it beforehand. So basically, you will drive up to a field with your equipment. You will hit hire, and it will go ahead and drive around the uh, field, usually doing headlands first, then going up and down so it can handle irregular shapes now. It'll basically work like course play will, but it won't have a menu, so it works really easily on consoles. All you have to do is hit a, bu a button, and it does all the work for you and knows what needs to happen. Um, the only disadvantage to this is compared to course plays, you're not going to be able to use probably more than one piece of equipment at a time on a field. But still, this is a tremendous improvement in the AI worker system. Uh, so pretty cool to see that. Um, also, it will register any field. So it's not just fields that are mapped by giants or anything like that. It'll register fields on base game maps, on any modded map. And if you customize any field, period, it will be able to register it and scan it and handle it, no problem. Uh, so let's go ahead and watch the video on this now. So you can see there, it handled that field like a champ. It did every part of it. There's no missed parts like there might be on course play even. Um, it handled every part of that field and got it completely done. No problem, which is absolutely incredible. So my hands off to, or my, yeah, my, my hats off to Giants for doing a very good job on that. So um, yeah, uh, moving on from there, we can see a little bit more detail here. Behind the scenes of kind of how the AI is mapped. This is just a little bit of that if you're interested. And there you can see the different types of fields that could be potentially on a map that it's going to be able to handle. Um, and stay tuned for more. That's what I got for you guys. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos that I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching. And now I will leave you guys to the interview. I hope you guys enjoy. Oh, I asked about this question. I was going to ask about the consumables part of your video. Yeah. Is that something that you can turn on or off when you purchase the vehicle, or is it an option you can switch on and off? Because I know some people with modded versions that have it don't always like to have it, and some do. Yeah, we, we really thought about that. Um, that's why we added an option to yeah quickly fill the tools. Okay. So if it's empty, you can also just press a button and then select the consumable you want and then add that. Okay. So, so you can go for more so, realistic. Yeah. In the video, you saw that I, I brought the pellet, but you could yeah. also just hit okay, the button cool. and then so, you can also select the color of the the bale wrap you want. Right, okay. So that's okay. So does that work in the same way as um, putting the pellet boxes on the back of the carrot harvester? So you, like you press R and it automatically. Yeah. Works. Yeah. That's similar. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. With the um, GPS system, um, how does it work? Is it like a worker? You press hire worker when you get to the field and it does it all? Uh, so, so the champion, uh, we, we basically split the, the AI system in two parts. So you got the regular AI worker, so as it was before in FS22, just a bit upgraded. And then we got a switch to the GPS steering, so you can choose one of the modes. Very cool. And if you switch into the GPS steering mode, you drive onto a field and you get the, the curse that is generated for you. So that you see the lines like I showed in the video. Okay. And then you can press uh, H, uh, the button, to activate it. Awesome. Um, yeah, that's how it works. And if you got the normal AI work mode, you press the button and then it will just automatically do the field. So you get there. So, this, this so it's not changing what we're used to, it's adding to it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. And so, so can you. Um, when you're generating the courses, I take it yeah. there's a screen that you go to and you generate the courses. No, yeah. there's no screen. It's automatic. Is it automatic? It's automatic. So, so, you, so, so that, that was the, the key point of the new system to have it as user friendly as possible. Because we saw that um, in the past some mods did it quite complex in my opinion for some users, especially if you are working or playing on console, it's, it's quite complex to set it up. So, so we needed a system that is, yeah, made for everyone. So yeah. you... So you can't control how many headlands there are, it's always two headlands and... 
there will probably an option for that. Uh, so we haven't added it yet, um, but we prepared the system to, to um, support all this. And it's also currently planned, but uh, we're not sure if that's um, going to be in the first version or if we patch it in later. Um, so, so but that's... It will calculate the width of your... Yeah, it uses automatically the width of my tool. Yeah. Um, and then calculates based on the length, the, the headlands it needs to, to have a smooth turn. Okay. And then, yeah, the up-down. From a console perspective, that works exactly the same PC console, exactly same, same integration. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Does yeah. also work with custom fields? Yeah, yeah. So that was the, the main point while developing it to, to support it really on mod fields. So we had a bunch of mod maps to develop all the system and we tested on them and, and made sure it, it, it worked there. So, if, so. You've, if you've expanded a field, if you've plowed four fields together, yeah, doesn't the next matter. time you drive into it, it will calculate yeah, it. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. That's Fantastic. very cool. Mind blown, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I can't think of anything else I'm never going to do anything by hand anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the, you may not be able to answer this, but we sell the Mac to unpack swathing. Yeah. Um, are there any other pieces of equipment that In the Mac Don Pack? Or base game? Because I know the Mac Don Pack is pre order bonus. Yeah, so we have in the base game this uh, McDon FD 250 that mm -hmm. I showed in the video. So that's available as um, New Holland version, case version, and McDon version. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the big header. Yeah, that's the big one, the uh, uh, 50 foot header. Um, yeah, so with the there's there's no other swathing. No, uh, so that's the only swathing we have. So okay. only one header that is uh, I think 12 meters worth. Um, okay. Yeah. So the the uh, the McDon tractor. Um, have to have the that to swap. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's like a special header yeah. uh, for this part because um, the middle section of the header is quite different to a regular header yeah, yeah. because it needs to just put it on the ground. Mm -hmm. So um, as you could also see in the video, uh, yeah. really, really good. So um, as far as it yeah. goes with the um, modded maps moving forward, from modders making their own maps, they can integrate integrate the GPS and AI system onto their map fields. They don't need to integrate it. It, it just automatically. It's just, it just automatically. It anyway. they, they drive on the field and they mod map and it will so they automatically just do work. It anyway. So yeah, that, that that was our goal, um, that you don't have to generate something for your map manually and, and everything. So yeah, spend some some yeah, quite some hours nice. on, on that system to get it to work like it is now. But yeah, are you able to create rice patties for yourself? Um, nice. Uh, the flooded fields? Yeah, you can create them. Yeah, yeah. Manu explained it in, in the gameplay presentation. It's like the defense tool we have. Mm -hmm. So very, uh, yeah. Click on on the map on multiple points, and it will generate a fence. But now it's then a rice field. Yeah, very. Cool. So of course, you have some some limitations with the slope. So yeah. it should be flat. There's some threshold that will, but it will then after that f uh, flatten the field. So so it can flood it probably. But yeah, that's how it's done. A good way to do it. That's really smart. I like that. Cool. The, uh, <laughs> the 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 rice pallets. Yeah. Uh, the saplings. The saplings. Yes. Yeah. I see. We can do them in a greenhouse. Yeah. Can yeah. we also just buy them? You want? can also buy them. Yeah. Okay. It was just a an, great idea. I had sorry <laughs> yeah, no, um, to, to, to do it with the with the greenhouses because it, it adds another depth to that crop because yeah, it's not a just a standard crop. It's something. Bigger, you have uh, yeah, more intense or more a deeper workflow. Yeah. yeah, we've seen the spinach as the new crop and growing in fields. Are we going to have any special equipment for that? I cannot answer that. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I mean, so far everybody's given us something. Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 I'm, I'm messing. I'm messing. I'm messing. <laughs> what um, crops are swappable? Is it the cereal crops? It's wheat, oats, yeah. barley. Yeah, canola. wheat, barley, canola. What you'd normally expect to yeah. see. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 